Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name's Ava and I'm a mortgage power planner. As some of you will already know, I am level four qualified, so I have done all of my RO exams. Now, I have previously done a couple of kind of revision videos, especially surrounding RO2, which is all the investments, as I feel like that's the juiciest part of the whole RO2 syllabus. And I've actually had quite a few requests to continue with those videos. So here I am, and today we're gonna to be discussing the time value value of money and the calculations that go with it. Let's jump right into it. So what we're gonna cover off in this video are what is time value of money? What are the various definitions involved in it? Calculating the future value, calculating the present value, the difference between APR and AER, regular payments, and real versus nominal returns. So let's start. If I asked you whether you wanted 10,000 pounds today, right now, or whether you wanted it in five years time, what would your answer be? The correct answer is now. And the reason for that is because that £10,000 will not be worth £10,000 in the future because of inflation. The inflation will have eroded the actual value of that money. So you're better off having that £10,000 now rather than having that £10,000 in the future. So here are some definitions that are involved in the time value of money. I'm not going to read through all of them because you don't need to hear my voice for that long. So instead, if you want to pause this video right here and have a quick read through them, that's absolutely fine. Let's move on. So before we jump into the actual formulas, here's a quick overview of what the different parts of the formula actually stand for. As when you see the formula itself, it looks very confusing, but trust me, it's actually a lot easier than you think. So we've got PV for present value, FV for future value, N for the number of years the money is invested for, and R for the interest rate. So here's the formula for calculating the future value, i.e. how much is an X amount worth in X number of years. So let's run through a quick example of how this looks in practice. So grab your calculators if you haven't already and let's crack on. So how much will £2,000 be worth in five years time if invested at 5% per annum? So we're assuming a fixed rate of course, we're assuming that we're going to be getting 5% every single year for the five years. So if we pop all the figures that we've got into the formula, this is how it should look. And remember, with the interest rate, we need to figure out the decimal. So make sure you don't forget that part. But ultimately, the answer here is £2,552.56. So that's how much £2,000 will be worth in five years' time. Moving on, we're calculating the present value. So how much do you need to invest today to have a certain amount in the future? So for this example, we're going to assume that we need a thousand pounds in five years time and you manage to find an investment that pays a fixed interest rate of five percent per annum. So how much will you need to invest to get that one thousand pounds in five years time? So all we need to do for this is just switch around the formula slightly and once again pop all the figures that you've got in and remember always calculate the brackets first. So the answer that you should have is £783.53. Wasn't so hard now was it? So let's move on and discuss the difference between APR and AER because no doubt you will have seen them jotted around on various documentation. So what's the difference and why is the two? Let's find out. So APR stands for annual percentage rate whereas AER stands for annual equivalent rate. So they are both used where the interest is not paid on an annual basis and instead is paid more frequently because that actually affects the actual interest that you're receiving or that you're paying. In. But as a rule of thumb, APR is generally used for loans and then AER is generally used for deposits, so your savings. Now let's move on to the regular payments. So how much will we have in, an, in X number of years if we invest X amount every single year for X amount of years? God, there's a lot of years in there, but I hope that makes sense. So in this example, we're going to invest £100 per year, so not per month, per year for 10 years at a fixed interest rate of 
of 8% per annum. So what will that be worth in 10 years time? So with this formula, it looks a lot more complicated because there are a lot of brackets. But with these type of formulas, just work from the inside out. So do the stuff in the brackets first, step by step, and then work your way outwards. So in this example, the answer should be 1,448 pounds and 66 pence. And lastly, let's just touch up on the real versus nominal returns. So nominal returns are the quoted returns. So let's say you've been quoted 5% as a rate of return on your investment. Now the real returns are nominal returns minus the inflation rate because as we discussed at the very beginning, inflation erodes the real value of money. The money you've got now isn't going to be worth the same amount in the future because the inflation will have eroded its value. So to calculate the real return, it's very, very simple. You take the nominal return and you take away the inflation rate, which normally stands at around 2% in the UK. And that is it. So I hope you found this video useful. Do let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything that I've missed or if there's anything that you need more clarification on. And I'll be more than happy to help out as I do check my comments on a regular basis. So if you're currently studying for the IRO2 exam, good luck. You'll absolutely smash it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.